ஸ்ரீபாதம் கொட்டாரம் ஆல்சோ நோன் ஆஸ் அ ஸ்ரீபாத தீர்த்தக்கரா கண்டு கொண்டே எடுத்த கோயில் இஸ் அன்டாவுட்லி ஒன் ஆஃப் தி ஓல்டஸ்ட் ஸ்ட்ரக்சர்ஸ் தட் கெட்ஸ் அ மென்ஷன் இன் ஏன்ஷியன்ட் ஹிஸ்டாரிக்கல் டெக்ஸ்ட்ஸ் The core structure within the sprawling palace complex was constructed in the 14th century. The sacred pond located within this palace complex is considered to be sacred. The importance of the ancient water body is further enhanced by the fact that it appears in Anantapura Varnanam, a 13th century composition which lists many of the sacred tanks in the vicinity of the Sri Padmanabha Swami temple. The core structure of Sri Padam Palace, Analikita, served as the abode of the Venad rulers when they came to Tiruvananthapuram. Later, after the time of Martanda Varma, the complex became the abode of the matriarchs of the royal family. Proximity of the palace to the Sri Padmanabha Swami temple and the walkway connecting the palace and the temple should be seen as an indication of its importance. The palace complex was expanded by the later rulers of Travancore. An old temple dedicated to Kalari Ganapati is a relic of the regal past. The most beautiful construction in the complex is perhaps the double-storied mansion, the Sri Padam Malika, seen on the eastern side adjacent to the main street. The records state that the mansion was constructed in 1818 during the reign of Gauri Parvati Bai, the regent rani of Travancore. The eastern facade of the structure is flanked with majestic fluted columns with a richly decorated Corinthian capital. The entrance leads to a lofty lobby space designed in double height. A grand staircase leads to the balcony on the first floor. The large fenestrations and use of louvers in the doors and window panes and the airy rooms with a high ceiling are perfect specimens of early colonial architecture in Tiruvananthapuram.